Got him. Nice. That was awesome. Oh, looks like a good fish. G'day everyone and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We're currently on tour around the beautiful New South Wales and I've come past Lake Mulwala. It's a place I've fished I think once or twice before um, but it was just, it just looked so good I had to stop for a fish and I've only got a few hours, maybe four or five hours to make something happen. So if I can catch a cod, I will be super happy. Got a couple, a couple of options rigged up that I'll show you now. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. It's a beautiful day. The water looks quite good. The whole entire Murray is flooded out at the moment. So it's nice to be able to come. For those that don't know, Lake Mulwala is actually a lake on the Murray River. But it's nice to be able to come to something that's just like the Murray River, but without the flow um, that's happening at the moment. And the water's quite a good colour. So let's see what happens. All right, so what I'm going to start with is a TT frogger so tt frogger it's a three quarter ounce um, i've rigged a five inch diesel minnow on the back of that um, i've also upgraded the blade to a size seven it's in that fire frog color which is just a good all-round color right across the country for cods um, i'm fishing 50 pound braid on one of the komodo 273s and an 80 pound leader because the water has got color to it and if I hook a whopper, I don't want to lose it. So that's why I'm fishing slightly heavier, even though, you know, the fish I'm, I'm expecting to catch, you know, could be 40, could be 50, could be 60 centimeters. Um, but I know there's giants in here, so it pays to just err on the side of caution. So my plan of attack is it is four meters deep i have no idea about this lake i don't know any spots um but i know there's lots of cod in here i know there's lots of logs so i'm just going to use that same process of just working through all the good looking water fishing well keeping my lure swimming and um hopefully we can get a bite i think that's one thing with cod fishing is you really don't need to overthink it if the water like if the snag and the water looks good chances are there'll be a fish there and you just need to fish it thoroughly to find out whether he's hungry or not and you might have all noticed it's a controversial subject between cod anglers but i've got the active target up the front and there's a lot of differing opinions about using that sort of technology for your cod fishing but for my for my little uh, experience using the technology i really take my hat off to people that are getting great results with it because it does take a lot to get used to and i'm finding um that i f for my whole life i've fished without a sounder for cod um and now you know trying to mix that technology in with how i usually fish is it's a big change it's such a big change so getting used to it we'll see if it catches me an extra fish or not but really it just gives me something to look at while i'm cod fishing at the moment and the difference with this style of fishery compared to that of the Murray is that cod in lakes are nomadic so they cruise around a lot they have to move to find their food because generally the food won't come past them um, you know if they're sitting on station on a snag like they would in the Murray so it's a lot different to what I'm used to but I'm still just picking those bits of structure uh, simply because it gives you a target to focus your casting on um, and you can get you know get a good rhythm by just working each spot methodically 
rather than just aimlessly casting around into the nothing. So yeah, it can be quite daunting coming to a new fishery like this because there is it is just so vast, there is so much to fish. But it's like any waterway that's really big, you just need to break it down into smaller parcels because you know there'll be fish throughout all of the lake um, on all the good looking stuff. So you're better off fishing a little bit really well than you are trying to fish a lot of it very badly trying to find you know that magical fish that's just going to cream it straight away. And what is really cool I'm not sure how well it's picking up but the great thing about active target regardless of whether you're looking for fish with it or not is the fact that because it's forward facing you can see what's in front of you and we can just see here there's this awesome lay down so we've got stand up timber here but there's actually a, a really cool lay down that's completely under the water um, and that's six meters in front of the boat so even though this is a totally new location to me um, I know that there's a beautiful lay down right in front of me um, which I would not have found unless I was using um, the active target so that's that's very cool whether I'm going to catch a fish off of it's another thing but I know it's there and that's why you gotta go slow in Malwala because <laughs> that guy's boat almost just completely launched over And we're a life jacket, which he is not. Had a hit. <laughs> had a good whack. Oh, that sucks. It's funny too because I'm literally like a hundred meters from the boat ramp from where I started. Good whack. Come back. Probably won't come back. Mm. Good sign though. Good sign to get a bite. Doing the right things in the right places. It'd be nicer if he came back. Nice! That was awesome! Oh, looks like a good fish! Oh, yeah! Moala card! Oh yeah! That's a really nice one! Put him in the net! Oh, yeah! Whoo! That's very cool! Literally a hundred meters from the boat ramp just decided to start here because why not? Yes, that's wicked. So cool we came back. Alright. Check this out. My very first Lake Mawala cod. So cool. You, like, I know nothing about this lake. So it was so cool just to put in at the boat ramp, work through slowly and methodically, and check that out. He's just absolutely crunched that frog or spinnerbait. What a beautiful fish. All right, we'll get him back in. Such a beautiful fish. 
getting a little bit tight on the line. Yeah, yeah. Just let me get that line out of your mouth. He is a cracking fish. And he's gone. Well, how awesome is that? Just to stop by. I didn't have a lot of time um, to fish. Like I said, I've only got a few hours. But coming out, completely new location. Put on confidence bait. Fire tiger, fire frog colored spinner bait. Um, and just work through the snags. Like I said, I'm literally like 100 meters from the boat ramp, but the water looked good. You know, it's a giant lake. There's lots of stuff that looks good, so you just have to go through the process. And super stoked, came together. That was just such a cool fish to catch in what a beautiful spot this is. It's pretty cool when you look at it. You can see these pockets of standing up timber and they're actually like very obviously dotted around well, this area in particular um, as like they just scream fish houses and that's exactly where that fish came from in amongst these stand-ups and what a good place to live plenty of cover you can cruise around search for food but you don't necessarily need to sit underneath something where you can't see what's going on very cool. Yeah, I think of all the spinner baits I've ever used, these TT Froggers are very, very good. Like heavy gauge wire, really quality components so they always spin like they're just they spin like no other the skirt is um tied on so you don't end up with that horrible um, rubber band that goes all gooey really good hooks on there as standard it's got a really good soft plastic keeper um, so your your plastic doesn't always keep pulling off um, they're a really great bait and i've caught fish um, in Four states, four states on these baits, which is pretty cool. So I've been cranking through a bit of weed here. Um, there must be a bit of a channel along that side, out the sort of boat ramp side there. But the whole time I've been looking at this one lay down it's the only obvious lay down i can see anywhere so i'm going to fish that and i might shoot back into the side there and see if i can't just find a little bit of clearer water i'm sure they sit on top of the weed i have no doubt actually they sit on top of the weed but um i would uh rather be able to fish clear water if i had the choice or run over a top of a few, uh, top of a few logs fall out the boat so much stuff to hit in this lake it is just incredible I've come a long way. <laughs> the boat ramp's just over there. I've caught one really nice fish. So all is good. There's heaps and heaps to fish here. Getting a bit cloudy. Super nice conditions. Afternoon. 
<laughs> well, that is it. It is time to move on to the next location. Very, very happy to tick off a Mawala cod off the list. I can understand why it's such a popular fishery because it is so vast, there is so much to do and there's so many cods in the lake as well. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a like, leave us a comment, and if you subscribe to the channel, it's hugely appreciated and you won't miss any of the episodes. I will catch you all next time.